Today at Coyote Classics, we're gonna be checking out and test driving this beautiful 1965 Chevelle convertible. This is a rotisserie restored car done to a very high standard. Yeah, the underneath of this is amazing. And then a 327 four speed. I mean, the, the car as a whole, you know, all the way around the bright work, the detail under the hood, the interior is done very correctly. Look at the quality of the engine bay. I mean, that's really all it takes sometimes. You look at, you look at a car, you see how nice it is under the hood. It tells you a lot about it. Yeah. Bottom of the hood paint's perfect. Yeah, and they did it in the correct satin black. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a they really did a nice job on this. Like I said, full frame off, uh, painted the frame, blasted painted the frame, painted the undercarriage, um, bolted, you know, everything back on. Um, everything was painted off the car. Power steering, power brakes. Those are some nice options in this too. HC code, 327. Yep. Should lose the higher horsepower. They did a great job on it. Um, as far as the paint codes, all the codes will be on our website, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, make sure you check that out. But even when they did the, uh, you know, painted the firewall, obviously they took everything off the heater box and everything like that. You know, even went to the correct flaps and all that. So really a nice job. They also left the bumper guards, which is kind of cool. Not many people do that. The grill, it looks to be original. It still has a few little chips in the black of the grill. Looks like they took the best they could on the original stuff. Um, fender, uh, the uh, hood chrome looks like that's been replaced. Bumper guards are original. Bumpers have been replaced. Top of the dash pad's excellent. As far as the hood goes, it sits up just a little bit here in the back. Um, not bad at all, though. A little paint imperfection right here, front edge of the door. A couple tiny rock chips, again, from driving the previous owner. Um, you know, jumped in and drove this to the shows. He had it for a couple years. I sold this a couple years ago to him. He took traded it back in on a, a Nova as of late. Beautiful shape, all new door handles. Quarter panels are great over the wheel well. This is the manual top, isn't it? But it was like, yeah. just take your fingers. I remember yeah, showing Gary about it. Good. Here's a little video of the undercarriage. Um, back bumper has been replaced as well. Back chrome all looks good. All the SS trim and stuff is excellent back there. As we look up and down the sides, nice straight paint. Corner of the door fits in nice here. All new rubbers, felts are all done at time of restoration. Corner of the doors, never been touched out here. That's all nice and solid. Uh, under the dash light works. Um, paint on the dash is absolutely beautiful. I love the uh, the wood grain steering wheel. It's got the big wheel on it. Factory tack gauges. All the trim is excellent there as well. And the whole car looks like it was just dipped. I mean, that's just the difference. You can tell every piece was completely stripped and taken off. Seats are excellent. Nice foam, it feels like, in the seats. It's got the full console. Back seat is excellent as well. It's got the little clips in here. Um, even the plates and stuff like that were all repainted. Go ahead and roll your windows up, D. Yeah. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, make sure you check out the uh, trunk pictures and undercarriage photos of this one. As you look up and down the side, nice and straight. Love the wheel well trim, rocker molding, bottom corner of the door is great. Rocker, lower door is also excellent. Got one tiny chip right there. Hood lines up good on both sides. It sticks up just that little bit on both sides equally. Um, there's one tiny chip on the top of the fender right there. 
as well. This corner of the door. Door panel's all been replaced. Roof rail rubbers are new. This is the last video of the day and I'm excited. I know we've cold. We, we've hammered about though today. Coming from California right off the plane last night at midnight to this. It's a different story. Here you go, dude. Yeah, welcome back to Iowa. <clears throat> Starts good. Yeah, this is really a sweetheart of a car. It's got the in-dash tack. Oh, the freaking heat works too. Feel that on your feet? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm hot or cold though. That's a problem. I don't know how it works. Yeah, the in-dash tack works, gas gauge works, battery light. I'm sorry, battery gauge works. Oil pressure's way over on the high side of like 60. Um, temp gauge isn't turning on quite yet. No way. Are you kidding me? I would, yeah, I think we could say it works. I heard a little something come out of the speaker. <laughs> Let's see if it comes out a little later, if we get something out of it. That was definitely, I hear a little crackle. Heater fan works too. Wipers work good, new blades on there. Ba -ba. Cool car, huh? It yeah, is. it's just a shift shift boot here. It's just what do you tell why? It's just it's just hard. Mm -hmm. you know Probably. What I mean? The rubber's hard. Yeah. Hey, that power steering is awesome. Check that out. I love the steering wheel too. And it's got the big steering wheel. I mean you really didn't even need power steering with that big wheel. You can tell the kind of restoration that, that this was when they did it. I mean everything just kind of back to to stock. Really nice quality. Oh, yeah. I bet the restoration was done like 10 years ago and it looks like it was done last year. Like I said, we sold it a couple years mm -hmm. ago. And it was yeah, really, three I mean, or four. really the same, you know, same condition as it is today. Good power. <laughs> That's awesome. It's like we lost our radio now, though. <laughs> the old Chevelle probably hasn't squealed tires like that in a while. It hasn't. It hasn't. I don't know, the Delco definitely makes noise, it turns on, but I don't think we're getting any stations. I'll tell you what, it yeah, idles you can hear it static. Yeah, it's got static, but idles beautifully. It shifted it good does. there too, we'll go through the gears nice and easy. So yellow sweetheart, I don't think gets to get driven like that too much. I don't think it's gotten driven like that in a long time. Uh, uh, probably since last time we had it, four years ago. It's a great car. 3,500 RPM shift. Nice shift right there. 3,000. Just a beautiful dash too, like all that kind of brushed yeah, yeah. with the rosewood. Really nice. Paint condition. on the steering column's perfect. It's a good car. Steering's perfect. Nice and straight down the road. As far as our turn signal indicators work, both sides on the dash. It and really for works on it. Besides the, like you said, the antenna is not getting the stations in, but other than that, everything's working. Mm -hmm. Hey, the interior is awesome in here too. I know we pointed it out, but the seats are comfortable. You know, they don't have that much padding in them to where you sit way up and goofy, but they're just the right amount. Yeah. Let's go through it one more time. Here, what? Great power. Doesn't it? That's awesome. A little 327 HC code. Yeah, that's a. 4,000 RPM shift right there to 60. And all of, all of doing that, the steering was perfectly straight. Yeah. What a car. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.